Hi, I'm Nick Salazar for TriRig.com, and this is the Blue Triad SL. The Triad SL was launched in late 2010 and is Blue's effort to launch itself into the superbike category. Starting with the front end, there's an integrated aero bar and stem system that bolts onto a bayonet style fork going straight back into a BB30 bottom bracket that hides an integrated rear brake. Blue has made very deliberate decisions to make this both a bike that's very aerodynamic but at the same time really easy to wrench. For example, the integrated front end uses just one bolt per side to adjust the extensions and two bolts per side to adjust the arm pad hardware. The bayonet style fork uses just a single M6 bolt to attach the external steerer and link it to the stem. Standard one inch bearings, both top and bottom of the fork, are really easy to find and source should they ever need replacement and in general that's the theme of the bike. The BB30 bottom bracket means you can use just about any crank on the market and really clean internal cable routing means that the bike is super easy to build. You just stick in cable housing at one end and it pops out the other end and you're good to go. The only real drawback to that is that there are specific frame types for cable setups versus DI2. The bike rides really well. It's a little more compliant than some of the stiffer frames out there, which I personally prefer, but there's still plenty of torsional stiffness at the bottom bracket and the front end to keep things nice and stiff when you're powering out of the saddle. The only major gripe I have with the bike is that the front brake is, a, is just a standard boss, and so they typically stock the bike with a standard front brake. That's not going to be nearly as aerodynamic as some of the more integrated systems out there. But what I've done is taken a, a Hooker SL brake on loan from Heath Dotson of HDCoaching.net to really clean up the frontal profile of this bike. Once you add a really clean brake like that, the bike has a frontal profile to match any super bike out there and really finishes off the bike nicely. For a lot more detailed analysis and photos, check out tririg.com slash triadsl. Thanks.